nerds. Oh. And this is a gaming PC. Hello, you two nosy and PC Pete, our bright and early supporters. Sup, sup, duck. What's up, Dak? Hello, guys. We have a meta build. <laughs> Hashtag Here meta. meta. So yeah, we got the uh, the meta configuration, the i3-12100 with the RX 6600. Um, and yeah, this will be a PC Bros PC you could buy, and it's gonna be in the Prism case, which is a fun case for a PDF. 800 schmeckles. Hello Google, everyone. Google, Google's being difficult again. Hi Google. Play music on Spotify. She's about to go outside. Hey Google. <laughs> Play music on Spotify. Got it. Here's Spotify. I'm sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> Google being weird. Hey Google! Play music on Spotify. Oh no, Omar got in a car wreck. Oh no, Omar, are you okay? That's gonna be really loud. Sorry guys, so ignore the copyright. <laughs> Thankfully I'm okay. Oh gosh, I'm glad you're okay, Omar. Yeah. Omar, you've had a string of bad luck. <laughs> Very bad luck. Except normally it wouldn't you wouldn't too bad, you know, it's just technology. But now you're getting in car wrecks. Three <laughs> stitches, so well, it could be worse. So I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. Uh, this is not the giveaway PC. This mm -hmm. is the same specs as the giveaway PC as last month, but. ET Simulator. Good morning, everyone. A Paladin, what's up? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, this one should be a simple build. Do you have another one back there? Or is this the only one we got? We got, we got plenty. No, we got plenty. Sweet. We got some more easy ones if we, uh, well, I say if. I mean, I'm assuming we're going to zoom through quick. this one. Yep, the giveaways happen the second Friday of each month. Thank you for reminding everyone, you two nosy. You too damn nosy. I know, you're so nosy, dude. Always asking questions. Mm -hmm. Good morning. morning. The PC goats. Is that trash, Matt? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Scent hydrate, by the way. We all need hydrate. We're all down with the sickness. Shall hydrate. We have one man down confirmed. So we'll see if uh, Zach said for sure he's not coming. He met, did you see the message last night talking about how he had a fever and then. Yeah. And I was like, well, if you have a fever, don't come in. He's like, I still have a fever. And I'm like, all right, well, there you go. That's fair. And then. Um, I haven't taken my temperature, but I would not be surprised. <laughs> the fever <laughs> is going around. Um, and then. Um, yeah, I don't know if Jonah will be in. Hey, he said yesterday he was playing on it. He, well, he didn't um, end up going to that concert, so I'd say there's still a good chance he comes in. Yeah. That's the main reason he was saying was because he was kind of sick and he had to go to a concert and he wouldn't be home till like midnight or he later. Wouldn't, he wouldn't have been a good Jonah. He would have been a, a grumpy Oh, he Jonah. would have been a naughty little Jonah. <laughs> he would have been just sitting there like, do I have to? He would have said, why me? Whoever gifted me a sub, thanks. Well, shout out to whoever gifted Flame a sub. I do know he was playing some of that World of Warcraft uh, Battle Royale or whatever the heck it is. He said it was awful. I, I thought everyone was like saying it looked awful even from the, the, the previews of it. So Why are they getting into a Battle Royale like five years too late? <laughs> I feel like Battle Royales are kind of on a downward trend. Yeah. Because I don't think many people are like, I mean, Warzone is still good, Fortnite's still good. It's just hard like, to make them any better at this point. You can't really make a new one that competes with the ones that everyone's just like into. Because I feel like, I, I mean, I could be proven wrong, but I feel like Fortnite is getting closer to that like CS territory where like no matter what, it's going to have a series of like fans that will just play it till mm -hmm. the end of time. Um, as long as it keeps getting updated, it'll absolutely ruin it. Like it's getting to that point. You know, I feel like it's coming soon. It's Fortnite too. Mm-hmm. Where they rebrand it. Yep. 
Yeah, because that's the thing about CS. Like, I mean, eventually younger generations might not play it, but it's been decades of it being like a PC game that everyone just plays consistently. They build a PC and they're always playing CS. Like, mm -hmm. it's a consistent staple. Team-based shooters are coming back popular again. Interesting. One game that's really underrated that no one really plays, I've seen a lot of YouTubers try to like hype it up again, is Halo's gotten a lot more fun with some of the stuff they're adding. Forge has made it really fun. Mm -hmm. um, but people just don't really want to play it. I think I think it's great. Someone um, someone made a Battle Royale Forge map, apparently. Huh. So yeah, you know, wasn't that supposed to be a thing? Or like, there was they always talked about doing it, but then they never ended up doing it. So someone made a Forge mode that is Battle Royale. So. Um, I'm just afraid the insurance removed me from the list. My second accident, my first one, honest to goodness, this one we both, so I guess we're both to blame. Not for sure. We got State Farm, we got full coverage. I'm not worried about the car or anything. Stuff happens. It's under my dad's name. <laughs> I, Omar, it was hard for me to follow that, but hopefully everything is good from here on out. That's what I'll say. Usually State Farm will give you like a few accidents before they like straight up kick you off from what I've heard. Did? Yeah. I guess it depends on the state. <coughs> it depends on which state farm. Where are you in, uh -huh. Omar? Aren't you in Illinois or something? Or Omaha. Omaha? No, I'm just kidding. Where, where, what state are you in? Yeah, I mean, it really does. They don't just boot you off, like, after having a couple accidents. Like, I mean, they'll bump your rates up probably, but... I mean, I feel like they had the series of, like, insurances. You get a couple accidents... Are you? What the f? <laughs> what the hell? Did we reach our monthly limit. I did just sign in on my um, OBS. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. We can't see anything you're saying at there's the moment. A, there's a user limit. Our chat just vanished. One second. Oh, I got to verify buses. All right, here we go. Busting. Is that a bus or a train? I can't tell. <laughs> Don't be like Zach and become a robot. That's a bus, right? <laughs> I think so. <clears throat> All right, we're back. Okay, I don't think we missed anything. Yo, know, just weren't even talking. <laughs> but what I was gonna say is, I feel like the, the progression of insurance is they'll just raise your rates really high, then eventually boot you if you're just constantly getting in accidents. Honk button, you all are freaks this morning. No tickets, they'll do the same thing. Take you have too many tickets, they won't. Yeah. They won't want to cover you. Can someone chat chat real quick, please? Because I'm worried it's not <laughs> displaying chat. It's freaking me out here a little bit. Something has to be broken. Good try, uh, Mike. Hey, that in. panel. But she all just like <laughs> died. Fresh chat? Chat? Type? Chit. Chit. Oh, there we go. Yay, it works. He robot, he failed the captcha. I didn't fail the captcha, I swear. <laughs> the I captcha failed us, guys. Sorry we missed your messages. We got signed out of our uh, restream chat thing, and then, um, yeah, very, the chat wasn't reloading. At that. It just said, sign in. Now. Thanks, guys, for saying chat. Flip some fans in this case. That's why I thought you all were like honestly scheming, like and being really quiet, you know? Yeah. You're like, which is not telling. <clears throat> oh, you're in Illinois. Gotcha. We were just there. Honestly, I'm not surprised you got an accident. <laughs> that there are some crazy people around there. Yeah, sorry, the chat broke. I mean, honestly, people in Illinois just be driving, you know? They just be driving. Chad, are there any uh, NCAA tournament bracket makers here? First day today, how confident are you on your bracket? Any Fortnite Battle Royale winners in here? What's your picks? Give me your picks. 
So I just wanted to stay home today so we could sports bet. Me too. Yeah. Keep it close, close track. Close track of it. Cats number nine. I don't think we're going to win, but I would be pleasantly surprised. Appreciate the optimism. I appreciate the optimism. I think we'll, I think we'll have a little bit of a run, but I don't think we're going to win the whole thing. Lemon Girl Jams. Hello. I'm 50-50 on my bracket. What, who do you got? Um, I have a build config with an i5 and a 6700 XT for under $1,000 at Lost It. Could you repost that, please? What do you guys think about John Cena? John Cena! I was beating Iowa State in the final. That's that's bold right there. That's bold. You don't have UConn making it? You're not like everyone else? Uh, I have a bill configured with the i5 and 6700 XT under thousand dollars. I'm curious if the extra 250-300 is worth it from the i3. Uh, so wait, what i5 are you going to? Uh, Wilbur says their toxicity's coming back. As long know. as it's not Bruce. I just can't have Bruce getting toxic. Bruce getting toxic makes me want to ban him immediately. <laughs> It would be the weirdest uh, relationship to ban somebody that we do ads with. <laughs> and then be like, hey, so about still that, do, still say, ads hey, about that ad. <laughs> um, the 12600KF is a really awesome CPU. It can handle a really high-end GPU. So if you have the money to upgrade to that and then maybe a higher-end GPU, I would do it. You're definitely getting good return on your investment if you're asking about going from like this config to that. Finishing the big quad today? Let's go. Oh. Let's freaking go. Do it be running? John Cena barf emoji. Okay, Bruce. I, I knew he was going to come in with some shit like Bruce, that. Bruce, you're getting banned. We're done. How can you not like John Cena? Like, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if you can love John Cena, but how can you dislike yeah, him? What's your problem with John Cena? Explain. And if it's a bad reason, sayonara. <laughs> like, he does come across as a good dude. He's either incredibly crafted as an image or a decent guy. Or goes to award shows naked. I mean, he can't act. Uh, I feel like his acting is actually all right. I honestly can't remember a movie that I've, I've seen, seen with him. Mine, in it. mine was uh, remember Fred? Like the ah, movie? Yep. He was like the uh, was he the dad or a coach or something? I don't remember. You know what? You got a point, Flame Boxer. Yeah, very true. Cena is good, but not the goat. You probably think the Rock's the goat. Puppet for CCP. What is CCP? What is CCP? Hmm. Clown posse. <laughs> oh, he's talking about ICP, the Insane Clown Posse. Oh, ICUP Pretty Colors? <laughs> I cup. What did you think about the movie? It's been a long time, but I mean, it was... Uh, the Chinese really Communist needed. Party? Hold up. <laughs> are, you talk, are you saying all because he did that freaking, like, <laughs> bean chilling skit? <laughs> <laughs> I love China. <laughs> Sting or Ricky Steamboat were my goats. UNC for okay. NCA. Jamie, it's John, that's John Cena's trash. Oh, my God. What a ridiculous notion. I know he's supposed to be in some more uh, movies coming up. Yo, there's uh, Planet Z, which is the uh, main social media guy over at PC Bros, saying thanks for all the support on the PC Bros YouTube channel. We're upgrading his uh, his filming area. He's going to yep. have his own little film studio now. So uh, PC Bros content's going to be soaring and flying. Do we need to give them a uh, like a cool PC bro sign? Uh, I think you should. Be cool. We could either do like a uh, uh, a neon like the like we've been doing, or we could uh, could hit up our sign dudes and see if we. How much did cool, we pay uh, for that again? I always forget. It wasn't bad. It was like ten grand. <laughs> no, I I don't remember um, it being that bad. I remember for what, what I thought it was like four hundred bucks or something. Yeah. Which yeah, it's pretty, and that was with the LEDs. Hey, we've gotten our money's worth. Mm -hmm. That that I remember when we got it, I was like a little like I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but it like way better than I expected. The LEDs are not super bright, but it's always worked out fine. Yeah. No, no, honestly, on camera they sh they show well. Yeah. That is the one thing I guess yeah that would be worth someday updating would be the LEDs. Have you looked at PC Bros. Tech, Sebastian? STGs, they have good ones, but recently we just did a video on one yesterday. Their configs are eh. Like they're really, I, I, either somebody there doesn't really understand bottlenecks or they're just like, I don't care. We're just going to sell it as is because there's some pretty bad bottleneck configurations. And I don't know about their, I, I've never, I, I don't know much about their customer support, but what I do know is that ours is uh, unmatched. Unmatched. Uh. 
Sorry, that's how subpar the PG era was to Attitude Era fans. You know, are you talking about like WWE? You're talking about WWE, I do I, not know. I I know this much. I just watched. Yeah, I would not get that one. If you watch that video, I I would assume the takeaway would have been we do not recommend that one because the configuration was not great. <laughs> the late '90s had a specific type of media. I like that they all had catchphrases and the crowd lost it. <laughs> I want to build my first PC. What's a good budget CPU? Well, that's a very broad question. What do you have to spend on the entire computer? Normally, again, the 1200F is a good starting point. If you could spend a bit more money and you want a more mid-range to high-end build, we really recommend the 12600KF. Or if you want to get into AM5, the 7500F on AliExpress or 7600 is a great option. I saw the 7600 was on sale at, on Walmart.com for 180 the other day, which is a really good price, by the way. Well, you say starter, and then you want to spend around $1,500. <laughs> That's quite the starter. It is. Building P520 for my nephew, nice. We have another one, which I'm not as excited about as the P520. The P520 is just going to be hard to beat. But we have some with, like, high-end desktop, like, um, 7000 series uh, Intel CPUs. Uh, we got one planned. It's going to be it's gonna be around, like, 600 bucks though. It's a bit more expensive than, like, the higher-end P520s. But it will definitely be 1440p ready. So 7700 paired with the 7600 at Walmart for 899. What what was that? I didn't even have anything that new. Really? I feel like Walmart's always like 5 years behind on in their inventory. Who was the seller? <clears throat> and was it online or in store? If it was just online, I could kind of get it cuz they have a lot of those third party sellers. Yeah, it's probably like a company we know. Might have been like SkyTech or it something. In store. Really? Huh. And we need to hit up our stores again. Uh, there's no way there's no way we have something like that our, our stores are like they I swear there's like barely anything i i, I our stores went backwards like at they one point i remember you could go and get like actual like gaming computers for like not that bad of prices yeah for the last like five years i feel like every time we've tried to go to walmart it's like only office or really overpriced old the only time we stuff. had good luck was and i think they still have it on the shelf but they're probably out of stock is they had that one i buy power with the 6700 xt yeah but that was around they only do that during the holidays so is I buy power? Hmm. Okay. Your best buy is better than ours. Our best buy is pretty freaking fancy now. It's gotten good, especially with the PC parts. It's not bad. Besides the motherboard fiasco. <laughs> he said, I worked at Walmart. Ask me anything. I can answer a lot on about how things work. How the heck do the intercoms work? Do you just need a special code for that? I always see the videos where people like, you know, grab the phones and they're like talking them or <laughs> rip ass in them. And I'm always like, how did they do that? Did you, I, I did this last night. This was like really easy. I'm wondering what you all were like struggling with, with the vinyl. Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, I don't know. Did you, did you follow, did you watch the video on it? Uh, where you put it on no. that piece of paper? No. Okay, so that's the, so like the the sticky paper mm. that it comes with, it doesn't stay on it or mm. whatever. So you basically, when you take it off, you put it on that paper and you line it up on the corner of it. So then uh. you can lay this part down first, mm. and then pull the paper out and seal it all the way down. And it like instantly gets it. Hmm. So interesting. Yeah, I don't think anybody here did that. Jonah was like watching a video, but then got his all messed <coughs> up. So I don't really know. Oh, he messed his up too. Yeah. No, mine was kind of like, I saw the video was seven minutes. <laughs> I was already upset that I had to apply. I, I was upset from the start. Yeah. I was, I think I was expecting like, just this super cool, like. Basically, this is what they wanted you to do. Was... Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach exactly as shown. And then you can lay it down like that. Hmm. And then once you press it on those corners, then you can pull that paper out oh. and then fully seal it. I mean, it. I have another one. Yeah, you can always you try it differently. Too, so but, yeah. but yeah, no, we're, what we're talking about is dbrand. They sent over some cases for us to try, just get our opinions. <laughs> I All the comments, though, everyone agrees. All the comments are like, can you just give us a pre-applied option? If it's so easy, give yeah. us a pre-applied option. Yeah. 
Where did you see like that? Was like on 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 the video? Yeah, on the com <laughs> on that video's comments, it was like because they just have them public on YouTube. So, how, do you have you do you know how much they are? I never really got to look at pricing. Case plus skin is fifty nine. I mean, yeah, it's just I mean, it's like Otter Box territory. It almost, is. You know? 50, uh, 54.90, but I guess uh, well, I don't know about other boxes these days. I know those things were like a hundred dollars back in the it's day. It's the most upvoted come if 500 uploads. You should have the option to have the skin pre-installed. I th I am really clumsy. <laughs> pre-applied skin should be the option. Good cases and skins though. Yeah. Pre pre-installed, pre-installed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I, would, I would definitely I would pay say pre five bucks for that. I would definitely have it pre-installed, and then I get the appeal of like if you want to just buy a skin and change it yourself. But yeah. like at that point, I understand like I have to do it myself. But yes. Like, for the first one, have it pre-installed. Trying to find a cheaper, uh, a cheaper, a cheaper GPU for 1080p, 144 FPS, performance mode of Fortnite. Funny enough, we have a YouTube video coming out soon, a short, um, where I did like hundred dollar or less uh, GPUs, and there was um, three that I talked about. I don't know what your budget is, but assuming you want to spend around a hundred, uh, go on eBay. You look at 1660 series. Um, what is it? Oh, it's Cyberpower. It's the one. 7600, well, like, read, you can read the description. 7600, 7600. Cyberpower's Game Master Series is a line of gaming pieces powered by AMD's newest Ryzen CPU accompanying AM4 architecture. Oh, nice. <laughs> Guys, that's, that's AM5. A, that's a surprisingly good deal, though. It's cheaper than building it yourself. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say, 16 gigs of DDR5, it'd be a one terabyte SSD, probably an NVMe, 7600, 7600. <laughs> that's a good deal at 899. That case looks like an old uh, Cooler Master case. It looks like one of their CM cases, yeah. like on the top. I've seen these before from them. They've like reused that case before. Wait, hold up. Is that what I think? That's a little jank. Mm, one stick. One stick of DDR5. Guess they had to save some money somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it's a good price. Not bad. If we ever see one in store, I might have to, might have to cop it. Yeah, I'll check if... um. Sometimes with those, I can do the... You know how we did the pickup? Where yeah. We can go through and do the... Drive through Steal pickup. from someone else's store, basically. Exactly. Normally, it'll say, too, if it's available for pickup there, and if it says ready in a couple hours and it actually gets fulfilled in a couple hours, then it was in that store, so. Yeah. But they don't really put those out. I think they just keep them in the back for online. So you remember, ever, ever, after the last few times going to Walmart, I'm, like, scared to even, like, just, if it says ready in one hour, I'm just going to assume that they don't have it in the yeah. state. <laughs> yep, it's just not there. <coughs> uh, let's see. But yeah, no, that combo, we normally, if you are building it yourself, I mean, obviously, you would go probably dual channel DDR5. You're probably spending around 1000 a little less than 1000 for that config, and you're getting a prebo for 899 If you can get a prebo for the same price or a little bit less than building it yourself, it's a good deal. Flameboxer says, I can answer any question about online ordering. That's where I worked. Okay. Well, so do you all have a bunch of gaming systems that you keep in stock at a store that doesn't actually go on the uh, like on the retail shelves. That's just for like online pickup. Because right. I've had a situation where we bought stuff online that we've never seen on shelves in stores, but it's like in the store. Like we could just go get it. Which is really weird to me, but. Does Walmart just be making, making up numbers about their inventory? If Walmart's doing it, why aren't we doing it? <laughs> we have some in the back that just sit there until someone puts an order in. Interesting. I'm just curious if there's certain SKUs that they make online only, and they just never put it on retail shelves. So, I don't know. It's interesting. I drive for Walmart. How many Walmart employees are here? <laughs> Doesn't, um, I think it's Jay Sam, who, I, I don't know if he works for Walmart, but I know he works with them doing, like, something with, like, electronics or, like, robotics or something. There are some items that do that. Interesting. Good to know. What GP do you recommend for streaming with the P520 for cheap? If we're talking cheap entry-level streaming, you definitely want to go NVIDIA. Um, you could get like as cheap as a 2060, 1660 Super. That'll give you the basic NVIDIA encoder to get into live streaming. Those are around 100 to 130 bucks. Um, or if you want to go a little bit higher end, something like a 3060 used. Um, I just picked up, which will get, it's going to be an interesting test for our... Um, other computer we got from PC Server Parts. I bought a used 2080 Super. Um, they sell those really cheap now. You can get them for like 200 bucks. And uh, those are like 30, 60 Ti level cards for $200, which is a really good deal. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot of options you can go with, especially the P520 with that power supply. You can put whatever in there.
They're like the largest employer in the country right now. A ton of more support them in the ox industries. I always think, whenever I think of large employer, I always think of Amazon, but yeah. I feel like Walmart has to be close. When I think of a place that, it's like UPS and Amazon are places where I feel like people work for like two or three months and then they're done. <laughs> Walmart's for life. Because I, I remember re telling, uh, like there was like a stat that like if Amazon keeps at the pace they're at of hiring people, they'll run out of people to hire <laughs> within like a certain amount of years. If it doesn't, if like the, the population growth doesn't increase or their uh, hiring doesn't slow down. I, I can see it. Everyone in America will have worked for Amazon. Shout out. Shout out Amazon. Shout out Amazon. I mean, we, we have Amazon affiliate. That makes us an employee, right? I mean, maybe that part that counts towards the statistic. We sell for them. It's like everyone at some point has worked for or with Amazon. Yep. Ooh. This board bend. Yeah, it's got some overhang to it. It's what we like. It's what we yeah. like to see, baby. I guess that's in there. Only one issue. Have you ever bought from Amazon, Amperman? Don't lie to me. Approximately 1.5 million people work at Amazon and 2.1 at Walmart. Dang. I don't know if anyone in chat has never bought from Amazon. I need, yeah, I need to know. Like, it had you have to like try hard at this point not to <laughs> to avoid it. I feel like Bruce is the kind of guy. I mean, you know? I, you know what? I take it back. If you're not somebody who would pay for Amazon Prime, I would understand why you wouldn't buy from Amazon. I see so many people that even like that don't pay for it that still buy from really? Amazon. What's the? Sh are, do they get like fast shipping time still? You can still get like free shipping, and uh, okay. uh, I don't know about two day all the time, but like. Like, Emily's never paid for it, and she buys from Amazon. I just remember being in high school, paying for Prime myself, because I was oh, like, yeah. two-day shipping is just, it's yeah, insane. Yeah, you had to have it. It's insane. Omar said, if you live in a good area, I saw a guy on YouTube DoorDash and Uber 40 hours uh, and getting 1K in a week. Dang. Not bad. We're in the wrong profession. It's on a DoorDash. Take the Tesla out, and let's DoorDash. <laughs> No, the Uber driver you I used had. the free chargers. Yeah. The Uber driver I had who took me to the airport before I went to Chicago, she was, uh, she picked me up. She was like driving down a street and I see her just looking at her phone and I was like, <laughs> and I, she could tell I was staring at her. She's like, oh, I'm on one of those auction websites. Uh, I, I'm, about to, I'm about to win this bid. And it, she was, it was one of those like ones where you like get stuff for like cents on the dollar, yeah. but you pay for every bid or something. She's mm -hmm. like, I'm about to win this blender. I really want it. And then she's like, oh, I think I lost it. And then she's on the highway and then she flips on full self driving and whips out her phone and starts like continuing the bill. And I'm just like, uh, I bet that was kind of like, that was, a little, that was a little sus on the highway. She only did it for maybe like a minute or two, but it was hmm. just like random. Like, please don't do that. Random intervals of like, okay, I'm not please, driving anymore. Yeah, please don't do that. kind of crazy to think like with self-driving we're, we're probably really close to a point where we don't exactly need like uber drivers no i mean they're they, i think in some bigger cities they've been experimenting with the cars yeah. that are like no drivers like definitely not there yet but it's definitely it's getting close i, I could see it in the next few years Hey guys, how would you look up Molex fans to a motherboard you have to hook up to they don't hook up to the motherboard so anything <laughs> with Molex, power supply yep Power supply. Yeah, and if you're wondering, can you hook them up to the motherboard? You don't want to do both. No. If it's one of those ones that has like the fan header and the Molex, I've actually seen people do that before, and maybe you can control the fan speed with it, but I do not think so. I'm pretty confident the Molex just pumps full power. I'm not sure how Uber pays for rides. I love food, but I can't now no car. But now Lyft apparently lets the oh wait apparently like the ride is eleven dollars, but they give the driver seven bucks. It used to be fifty five percent, now it's sixty five. Huh. Hmm. I, honestly, I don't remember the last time I've opened up a Lyft. So maybe they're just trying to get people on Lyft. Because I, I mean, I've always used, the first thing I think about when I need to ride somewhere is I'll look at Uber first. I know we've used uh, Lyft before. We like, did. Um, when, it, when we were in Boston and stuff, we, we like alternated between yeah. both. Because sometimes, you know, you have the moments where you can't find anyone on one app. Yeah. You also have the moments where like, you know, so many people are using like Uber Six that like the other ones are cheaper. Yeah. 
definitely good to have competition. Fair market. Capitalism. Capitalism. <laughs> yeah, your power supply will definitely come with Molex. The issue is, yeah, with those Molex fans, they are cheaper fans. Um, it does have that connector as well, but for the motherboard probably. Or they might just be daisy chain Molex, and if that's the case, then they just run off power and yeah. that's it. And as long as it's like a somewhat newer build, those Molex fans run pretty quiet these yeah, days. They're not bad. And they run at like a good speed. Like you get plenty of, I would say they, they kind of have them on like the higher uh, like airflow of things. So you're definitely not gonna like overheat because of Molex fans. Molox fans. Molox fans. I'll still never forget that. It was my uh, my computer engineering college teacher, professor, whatever you want to call him. I just remember he always called Molex Molox, and that's when I knew. I was <laughs> You're like, like a. I was like, homie, homie, and knows less than me. And he's like 20 years older than me. He should know Molex. If you ever want to go back and teach a class, probably could do it better. <laughs> yep. Now, as soon as we get to software networking, I'm Maybe. Dead. We'll be like, so guys, listen, can somebody <laughs> teach me this? I don't even know. We'll hit him with the... Now, this subject is really not important, honestly. Let's take a look at uh, the YouTube channel, Tech Quickie, Linus Tech <laughs> Tips. <laughs> He'll explain how Wi-Fi works in an airplane. <laughs> no, they don't have a 20,000-foot Ethernet cable that follows the <laughs> airplane. Is there a way to control case fan speed that is a Molex connected to the P PSU? Like I said, if if it is just the Molex connector, no. there like, technically no. There is like inline resistors um, that you can get to where like, a Molex fan runs on basically it's like a, a DC fan only. So if you are to take the 12 volts or whatever the fan's running on, lower that voltage in theory, the fan slows down. So yeah, there is like inline. Um, resistors that you can like solder in i think they sell like some pre-made like molex where it goes in the middle um but honestly i would just try it first and if you really think it's way too loud either swap the fans or look into those connectors but like right now i, I wouldn't worry about it sleek baby sleek. to see how it looks Don't turn around i'm turned on Hey! Took forever. Ready to hit that button a thousand times? No. <laughs> Make sure it works. It, it works. works. Oh yeah, that's a good This color. is the Apivia Prism. It is a micro ATX, well, OLED and dynamic mini style case that the everyone OIQ3. is copying. The OIQ3. Definitely the new standard for budget cases at this point. I'm really glad DIY came out the Q3, otherwise I feel like they would have quickly died. Yep, Q3 is probably keeping them alive right now. Honestly, gonna hope they, they, I don't really know what they can do now, but I hope they get back to the era where like, they just have, I mean, cause the Q3 is a great example of like the best bang for buck you can get yep. in a case. I hope they have more like that. Cause it just sucks that like, you know, 10 years ago they were awesome. I and mean, that's like all we could even use for the prices we the were The thing doing. is they're still selling those cases from 10 yeah. years ago. And I'm like, come I'm on like, guys. I'm like, make something new, but make Please. it cheap. I know you guys can do it. You can do it, I believe in you. Yeah, DIY PC works. Those cheaper cases work if you just want something that holds computer parts. And that's <laughs> pretty much it. We'll just see if we got another build in the back, guys. But if you're wanting to keep the value of your build in terms of like resale in the future, I wouldn't build in some of those old ones. It looks very familiar. Is that the case you have, Xenos? You probably have the Q3, I think, with your build. Because I don't think we've done a giveaway with the Prism. $30 in Athlon 200. No, I would not get the 200G. I would not get any Athlon in 2024. Don't touch them. Buy used. Uh, Jonah's taking a half day. <coughs> Did 
It's supposed to be Prism, but Amazon seller sent the DIY. Oh yeah, that's true, I forgot. Yeah, we were planning to use the Prism, but then the seller sent a bunch of DIY PC cases and we said, we're gonna stick with that. God, my ears, the drive got louder and screeching won't stop. Ah. Hello. Hello. What's good, my dude? What's good? That's what Jackson rolling around with double. Say what's up to chat. Hey, what's up, chat? You I'm should, You should ask them if they want to see a video of um, building out that. Oh, that would be so board. cool, yeah. Did uh, Jackson already approve he the build? Did, he said he's down. We got it approved by the HOA. We don't really know what we're going to do for like the backdrop. We were thinking about getting a PC Bros version of this for you. Yeah, you said that was uh, 10K or something? Oh, no, I mean, they're way cheaper than that. Okay, good. They, they're like 400 bucks. Oh, that's that's not bad. So if you got a PC Bros one, that would be so sick. That's how much PC Bros, no, uh, what's up? Uh, price for appearances. But yeah, no, I think, I think a series that'd be pretty cool. You can't hear Matt. Here you go. Basically, uh, this is Zach, if you guys don't know, PCBros.tech, social media guru. Um, and we're going to be building out basically a little film studio for him in his office back at PC Bros. They were tired of me using this one. Basically, we want to give him a good spot to have PC Bros branded content. So we're going to be doing some work back there. And I was wondering if you guys would like to see a series where we uh, show you guys the build out of it. Because I think it'd be pretty cool for uh, PC It'll Bros. Be a, like a three part yeah, a little three part series. He said, oh, <laughs> you could be cameraman. And no, then, I, I, I want to actually yeah. help you with that. So there thing. you go. Hell yeah, you that wanna would be cool. I kind of want to learn something from Grandpa. Oh, yeah, we should break down the wall and expand into the bathroom. Oh, uh, there we go. That's what we need but to we do. We don't even need that half bath there anyway. No, yeah, it's not important. Let's just, let's just make an ultimate studio. Let's just build more walls and go all the way down where the pallets are. Well, I guess all the plumbing's already there. That's fine. You could turn into a water fountain. <laughs> I need to be my shower. I oh, guess. yeah. I need a shower. I'm a shower anyway. Bruce said PC Bros greater than Toasty Bros. I see where your allegiance lies. I think what we should do is we should just watch the Mickey Mouse shower room. Yes. Yes, that's a very good combo for 1440p. Oh. Why are you so sick? Why? Chicago got it's called Chicago. It's, it's a plague, you know. It's Chicago, I, I it's thought about it too. McAllister said it was my fault. He has been coughing up a storm recently. Really? So. Yeah, McAllister's been sick. But I also feel like he's been sick for like three months. I don't know if. Dude's immune system's weak. <laughs> D and D players don't have immune systems. No. Prove me wrong. I also, I didn't I, roll high enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I think d and is actually like a, an excuse for like a, a cult, you know what I mean? No, it's very cult. -like. For like, for like very, weird, for like weird orgy very, stuff. Uh, very sexual. It's very sexual. So you know, sexual, this PC build. Uh, yeah. Sexual. It's using a Frankenstein graphics card. Oh no. Yep, this is oh, it. Oh no, another one. <laughs> Ooh, this is from Hong Kong <laughs> Trading Limited, FBA. You guys saw our video on the 3050 Ti Mobile. Here it is. It's getting a build. No worry, guys. It'll be for sale for really cheap. It'll only be twelve thousand dollars. Twelve grand. Yeah, you have the DIY PC Q3. Um, because I was telling Xenos, your giveaway was from the one where we planned with the Prism, but the seller sent a bunch of DIY PC cases instead. Yeah. Which honestly, probably better. Probably better. DIY PC cases are cheaper. The Prism's a little more expensive because mainly it comes with two extra fans. In-store AMD GPUs are around $200. You're talking about our store? We do have 6,600 and stuff that we would sell, but obviously it's going to be a markup. If you're wanting something quick locally. I can't believe you all got the, like, the real reins. Uh-huh. I, I didn't crazy. get those. Those are, like, 300. They're called rail reins? No, like, real. Oh, real. They said the real reins. No, when we got those, I was like, whoa. <laughs> she got like a 32 pack of them. Like say, say real reins five times less. I don't, I don't know if I can. I think that would be a good tongue twister. 
If you all have a smaller Toasty Bros mouse pad, we have an actual desk mat. Not That's not this one. Yeah, we have two. Uh, two of them, they're on the website, but we don't have anything smaller than that. I just want a reason to go to the store and would like an upgrade. If you come by, again, like the pricing is going to be more expensive than buying online, but if you just want to stop by the store and you want an excuse to come in and buy something, we're here. And support local, you know? Yeah, $200, we definitely could get you something. Support local smile. Need your screwdriver? Yes. <coughs> Okay, Max makes a decent case there. They got a, they got a couple of R8 ones. I think they are what we kind of want DIY PC to do because they have some slightly more modern yeah. cases that are at the prices that we want them to be. They're still like cheap. I mean, I'm not expecting DIY PC to make cases for forty fifty dollars that are like all metal. Like I understand that they're gonna be cheap, but I just want some new looks. You know, something a little more fancy. So you, you had a. Oh, the 390 Founders Edition for 270 car was broken but repaired. Works good now with some visual damage. Well, I would say it's a great deal depending on, like, what was repaired. Was it just a physical problem or was it, like, you know... No, actually, that was a dumb way of asking that. <laughs> what exactly was wrong with it? Yeah, why was it broke? What case is that? That's the NX200M from Antec. Good budget case. <coughs> This is not the prism. No, that's the other one. This is the untouched. Antec's gotten a lot better. Antec used to be like really big back in the day. Um, and they've recently released some good cases, especially on their higher end. I would say they're kind of, their style is much more old school, but there's a lot of people who like that case style and they'll do it. Like the performance series is really good. SMD components knocked off, broken LED connector, which was repaired. Yeah, so I mean, SM, when they say like SMD components, they usually, that's like actual like circuit board parts. I mean, you know, it's a it's a risk for that price that if it's proven to be working and it's like a reputable seller, I would probably take the risk. Give it a shot. Because I mean, that, that card could easily last, you know, another like, you know, five, six, seven years if, if everything was repaired properly. Nothing else breaks. I'm not gonna say like it's impossible, but I don't see us doing custom keyboards or headphones. I can see us doing like branded headphones and stuff for PC Bros. Maybe branded keyboards. We but... do get opportunities here and there. The one way I could see some, I mean, honestly, anything happening is we do have a lot of companies that'll reach out here and there. It's yet to happen where they wanna partner with us, where yep. they're like, hey, you know, we'd love to like sell our product through you guys, you know? Um, so we can either like make you your own um, like custom version or we can literally just keep our branding. You just help us sell them. I know like we had like a glass mouse pad company we talked to. We've had a few. Yo, what's up ZTT? How you doing? Morning. Zach's Tech Turf? Zach's Tech Turf has graced us with his presence. How do you do, sir? Uh, I build custom keyboards for a hobby. My current keyboard is a custom keyboard on a GMMK with Oil Kings Black Linear. See, you all are in the custom keyboard space. Zach, if he was here, would be uh, all, all in that, but you know. Yeah, he's not nearly as much into it as he used to be. For a while there, it was like, he was rocking like thousand dollar keyboard all the time. Bum, bum, bum. I think he got made fun of too much though. <laughs> He did, he did spend a lot on it, but you know, there's there's things I spent a lot on that, you know. Dude, I swear that, that one day, uh, and you know, if Zach's watching, fight me, but I swear he gaslit me when he said um, he never talked about quiet mice. And I was like, no, you were obsessed with he quiet everything. He was obsessed with them for a he while. Was. He wanted everything to be silent. I was just talking about the 3050 low profile you featured. Oh, where I'm we we got the, um, we're doing a build with the non-low profile version. The low profile one looks really cool and I bet we'll end up using it in some systems here. I like how Tyler did like that really cool um, <coughs> YouTube video of building that person's PC with like a 3050. Yeah. And like the only comments on it were just like, 3050 is such a trash card. And I'm just like, what is wrong with you people, man? Uh, people are just I don't wild. Get it. 
Yeah, I love seeing good low profile cards. The only thing I've had, like the issue that I've been having with them though, and Zach, if you have any opinions on it, I'd love to hear, um, is a lot of those cards are a lot thicker um, and they end up not fitting well in some of these newer small form factor cases that have the PCI slot like really low to the power supply. Yeah. Um, and then at that point where you're spending so much money on the newer gen six, seven, eight gen ones, unless you find like a really good deal, you're, you're like really approaching the custom build territory at that point. That's That's been my hesitancy with some of these, like especially the, um, uh, what's it called? The like Optiplexes? No, which, uh, which 40 series card just got a low profile? The 4060 low profile? That one being kind of thick and requiring external power, all that sort of stuff. But I mean, I, there's definitely a place in the market for them, but I just, it's not as like, I don't know, it hasn't gotten me there's, as excited as they the used to be. The other issue that you really run into is like, when you had the low profile 1030, <laughs> 1050, 1650, they were all gen three by 16 cards. And now you're running into these nice new low profile cards that even if you can fit them, it's like, are you even gonna be able to utilize the full bandwidth of, of the yeah. card you know that's the other thing we've ran into like with the rx6400 is a great example it's an awesome card um especially if you can get it at the right price but there's like it's just more and more limited these days on what systems you can put them in that like don't bottleneck big time here's this thing the dio shield eieio -E shield what spec should i have for a 325 dollar pc it depends PCSL plays have become really important lately. But there's still enough OEMs that work with the thicker cards. Eighth and 10 gen are around 150, 110. I'll have to take a look. Are there any of them that you've looked at in particular? There was one that I honestly just gave up on the project. Jackson ended up finding one, so there, they do exist. But I got one of those A380 low profiles that was really thick, and I like got a couple different systems from like eBay, and they weren't working, yeah. so I just kind of threw in the towel on it. I'm trying to remember what I what did I put that in. I feel like it was something. It was a weird one, like a. 3070, which or yeah. 3080, which I feel like I've barely even seen. Yeah, I think for a video, I was really concerned about <coughs> finding something that would support a resizable bar, especially for Intel Arc. But yeah, Zach, if you just tell us like the exact systems you use, we we will not make a video on it. We will not copy it. We will not make a video. We'll just keep that information in house. Smile. I promise we won't make a video on it. <laughs> promise. Thank you. Promise. I mean, I'm never specifically hunting for them. I have some that pings me whenever he finds the perfect deal. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure it's not easy to find on a daily basis. Makes sense. You can just tell us which ones. Just give up your source, Zach. Come on now. Give up your source. I love having these other cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I need the plug immediately. All right. Pop time. Okay, we got uh, around a year ago, you found a 6700 LP Elite Desk for 100. Uh, 3050 ever gets around 130, be a nice solid LP build. I agree, I agree. Win. Yeah, like we actually have a bunch of um, like 8th, 9th, and even 10th gen um, OEMs in the back that I haven't, I'm still kind of working on. Um, so if I find one that feels like it makes sense for anything like that, I'll definitely do it. Man, what is this riser? What was what, this thing doing? I, another one, another rogue riser. This needs to stop. Uh, I wish I would have came in when I was living down there in the area. Well, please come by. Stop by again. The store is always open. Except for right now. Except for right now. It's not <laughs> open. <laughs> we'll be opening in uh, uh, 11 minutes. You know what? Maybe we'll make an exception. We'll open the door early for them. I mean, if there's a line out the door, we'll let people in. I mean. God, won't that be... I, I feel like we need to do some crazy release that causes that. I just want one time to have a line. Just see what happens. It's called a car show. <laughs> yeah. It really is the, the only time. And it's not really a line. It's more of like a... Well, we'd have to do a party. line before the car show and then tell everyone there's a giveaway. Ooh, like 10 things, like for the first 10 people. Yeah, then yeah, there would be a it. line. I was actually thinking recently. It's um, from 3880. All right, I'm stealing it. I was thinking recently before the trip that we went on that I was like, you know, I'm kind of getting the oh. urge. Oh, getting he's, the urge. he's getting the urge for another car show. If you guys don't know... Um, at our shop, uh, we've run multiple car shows for local uh, people who are into cars and stuff. And then we also uh, host giveaways and things in person. Just kind of a local Pizza. meetup. Pizza, stuff like that. The last one was so crazy uh, that so we've, kind, we've been kind of scared to do it again because we're kind of just... Here, I'm going to whisper into the microphone real quick so our landlords don't hear. We don't really ask for permission. We just do it. <laughs> um, and we've been kind of scared to do it again. Um, but Jack says he has the itch. He has the itch to and get the other evicted. Thing, 
is we do have a little more space now at the office. Like we actually occupy two ends of the building, which I'm like, I think that gives so us that a little So that means we more. get all the middle too, right? Because we have That's two ends. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you know, we kind of know what people don't want things being blocked and we have some traffic cones to kind of help with that. And also I now know like what levels of advertising we need and don't need, which that last one we did, I think I think I just went a little too hard in the advertising, and that's really what did it. So I'm, I'm hoping to kind of make this one a little more, like, just rather than going to, like, the Louisville car pages, really focus on putting it on PC Bros social media. Cause we just want the PC Bros people. Yeah, that is kind of the downside is, like, you know, when I do all the car pages, yeah, we get tons of people here, but I don't really feel like we get as many... I guess you could call it like um, we do get people that come in, but a lot of them just term? lurk outside the entire time. The, yeah, that and then what's the uh, future customers or whatever you want to call it, um, possible customers. Like I don't feel like we get that many out of it. <coughs> How many Mustangs have you had eat uh, spectators at and leave? Your car gathering isn't truly a car gathering without a Mustang eating the crowd. <laughs> We've yeah. actually surprisingly every time it's been a very clean show. We've been, yeah, we were worried that there were going to be some, like, assholes that would ruin it, but haven't had so that far. issue yet. And honestly, if you do want to come to the show, don't, like, feel, like, scared if you just have a basic car laid on, like, yeah. just, just come, it's fun. It's not, a, it's not like we're judging people's cars, like, it's just kind of a way for everyone to come that maybe they're just, like, kind of into computers, and then they see it's a car show, and they're like, oh, I also want to do that, that'd be fun. It can almost be like I, either way you want to look at it. Like there's a lot of people who go to car shows that like will ride their bicycle there because they yeah. want to look at people. Just look at people's cars. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to have your car on display for everyone. And then you know it is the whole cars and computers things. Like mm -hmm. realistically, if you're into computers, you don't even need to look at the cars you don't want to. You can just but if you're just into in. cars, don't show up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna drive. Oh wait, 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 wait. We're gonna go te test drive a Mach E tomorrow. Ooh, That's fun. what the wife wants. Ooh. Nice. Now, is she going to crowd surf with it? It's not the <laughs> traditional Mustang that you crowd surf with. Yes. But What would know. the electric version be? <laughs> Peace surfing. <laughs> <laughs> Toasty Bros, how do you find jobs in PC services? I've been looking for a job in the area around me and there's nothing. Well, it depends on you about PC services. I will say... And if you're in Louisville and you have like us here, like we're a very specific like job role. Like there's not a lot of places that hire for PC builders. Like that's just not a big thing. If you're talking about like IT repair, you're, you're, you're probably stuck if you're in like a big city that doesn't have like a lot of mom and pop shops that are hiring. You're stuck with like the Best Buys, the micro centers, stuff like that. I think if you're next to a micro center, that would be a good area to get into. But you're, you're doing a lot of retail. Probably. I don't know if they have jobs specifically that you get hired for to work in, like, the uh, repair or build section. The DIY section. But I will say from our experience, I, it just depends. I mean, we're a small business, so we have different criteria versus bigger corporations. We are always looking for people who are just super, like, like driven on their own and have, like, the ability to just learn things as they go. We don't even really necessarily hire people all the time who have, like, a ton of PC building experience. Yeah. Because we've, we've done that and not had the greatest luck with it, you know. Most times. of the time when you hire them, you know, they have different expectations of the job. They're either really burnt out in the field. Once you get somebody who's passionate about tech, you can learn. Oh, someone in Pittsburgh needs a PC builder. I wonder who that could be. I wonder. I wonder who could need that. Honestly, bro, we'll come work for you. We'll, right. we'll contract out our guys are real you, quick. Are you right? paying good? You paying good? Because Matt and I have been having an itch to make some <laughs> extra money. Yes, we need it. Hey, he could expand to Louisville. We got some space to rent. <laughs> we do have space. <laughs> we got that space. But I don't know, man. That, that space is going to have a breakout room. It's going to have... <laughs> I don't even know it's gonna, what's going to happen gonna in there. Storage, servers. We're going to drive by one late night and it's going to be like a big crowd out there. We're like, what is happening in there? Hey, as long as they send some customers to PC Bros, like we're cool. That's what I'll tell them. like, hey, if you have any people, hand out some business cards. Yep. We learned from the PC Bros that you pay them in tacos. Is that true, Matt or Jackson? It depends on the mood we're in, you know? Maybe tacos? Maybe nothing. Maybe nothing? Dude, this is... Like I'm still wondering when that viewer is going to send us some moonshine. 
Oh, I forgot about that. I'm still expecting it to show up in the mail randomly. Well, they said they came back a couple weeks later and said, I'm still working on it. So oh, maybe they're okay. trying to, you know, petition some laws so they can actually send it, you know. Hey, we told them if it shows up. We're not going to say gonna anything. We're not going to ask questions. We're not going to ask questions, but... <coughs> Whatever you have to hide it in to get it here. All about that space, about that space, no trouble. Yes. What he said. You should add a smash lab for parts that don't work. Well, the funny thing is, Zenos, right next to the second place we just rented is a smash lab. They would not be happy about they that. They would not be happy about that. <laughs> and we do sell them a bunch of our defective stuff, which yeah. has been a great way to get rid of defective stuff. We sell it to the smash lab in a big old pallet. It's cool, too, because they, uh, you know, they have scrappers and e-cyclers as well, so it uh, makes it pretty easy, honest. Having them right down the street is really easy. I need one fan adder. Juan. Juan. Uh, here. Conk, conk. Who's that guy been at? Yeah, what? Well, he was here like every day for a while, and then he disappeared. I think that's the ups and downs of Conk, conk. So we get half day Jonah. Oh, Caleb's getting Krispy Kreme, bro. Who is? Caleb. Uh, Kaleeb. Kaleeb getting some Krispy Kreme. Guys, we're getting cream today. Would you all agree, Toasty Bros? Agree to what? I ain't agreeing to nothing until I read the terms. We need to find print, baby. <laughs> Uh, we're getting ready to phase out a bunch of hardware. Once talking to my boss about buying some of it to basically feature for my home network. There you go. That's all. That's a big benefit being in the IT space, especially if you're in like a big corporation that like always phases out their um, their infrastructure, and you can get it for like real cheap because they don't know where else to put it. We benefited because we've gotten some connections with local businesses that are phasing out their old computers, and we end up getting them for free. So money moves. Krispy Kreme on Shelbyville lies. They turn on hot donut sign and give you a dozen from the cooler. It's <laughs> oh. Like, are they like ice donuts? cold? That'd be, that'd be horrible. That'd be fire. I feel like some donuts are actually probably kind of good cold. Some of them make sense cold, but yeah, you know. Uh. <clears throat> I did not see the advice for a PC upgrade. I'll be honest with you. If you could resend it, I could confirm if your advice was valid. One thing that's really worth getting is a sour cream donut. Sour cream donuts. It doesn't sound good, but it actually is pretty decent. Hmm. Wouldn't know. I've never had one. <laughs> it was a prank. Sour cream donut. Sour creme donuts. Ow. Oh. Oh, I hear sweeping. It, it got messy out there. I, I swept a lot yesterday. And all our today. lights replaced. Yep. Yeah, I think the next time it'll be back is like Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Same deal where he's going to come like later in the afternoon. <coughs> what is it? Same deal where he comes like later in yeah. the afternoon. All right, nice. <coughs> so every morning I come in and I'm surprised with new lights. Pretty much. You never know which ones are going to be replaced. We're finally changing out some of our overhead lights for LED panels chat because... By the time I, we're done, I think it's... I honestly think it's going to be almost all of them. Yeah, all of them should be LED panels. Um, ah, hello. At this point, I'm just like, they just look so much better. I'm like, Does the yeah. hallway look incredibly bright to you? I might like squint the fact that it's a little late last night, so I said to pay any attention. But, uh... The only thing that's been done is the hallway and then, like, the one on the end, which is actually set to a lower setting. Uh, so I heard, a, like, a riddle this morning slash a little game. <laughs> riddle me this, and it made me angry, so I'm going to make you all a little angry. All right, here we go. It's a, it was a simple... All right, I think they should hear it. All right, repeat after me. One. One. Two. One. Two. two. Three. Three. What comes after three? Four. Four. No. What comes after three? The game is repeat after me. That was oh the puzzle. God. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's I one of those. It's like technically. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I was mad this morning. You, you should be mad too because the guy was like, it was like a video of a guy at like a checkout counter. He's like, 
listen, if you solve this little puzzle, I'll give you blah, blah, blah. It's like on a technicality, I guess. But I literally sat there thinking about it. I was like, there has to be an easy answer to this riddle. How is it? Repeat after me. One, two, three. What concerns four? I don't fucking know. Yeah, it yeah. made me angry. So did everyone's mad at angry? me. Chat, did you all figure it out? It's in the three, four seconds you had. Well, in none is what they said. <laughs> they call him the button pusher. <laughs> He's pushing pee. Push people's buttons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. God. <laughs> that is violent. Freaky. All right, chat. You guys want to see our two builds? Pushing positivity. You guys are renting that space. Uh, wait, hold up. Lost the chat. Yeah, that was the. I forget whose floor that was. Yeah. Yeah. So go in in the building we're in now. No, we basically have to put the money forward for the LED panels. It's expensive. And it is expensive. The one that we're moving into, or the one we're we're using as extra space, as part of signing the new lease, they replaced all the panels with uh, LED. Which apparently is probably something we could have done here yes. when we got here, but I. Yeah, so but I, we should have like. Put, I mean, we spent a lot on the renovation, so I bet they would have been like, "You gotta deal with that yourself." But who knows? I didn't even think about that. We really could have like asked for that too. It wasn't something I really thought about in the moment. <laughs> nope. Well, because I went through and replaced all of the bulbs that were out. So at the time, it wasn't too bad. But after about three more years, a lot of them have gone out again. What Wait, is that? You, dude? Are, <laughs> that is freaking me out. That looks like you actually have like a, a disorder. <laughs> we, we just we're, we're stuck with him today. <laughs> uh, this is what you're working with. This, this is where we're at. This well, his general will be here. He said he's coming in later. He's sleeping in, so. Oh, so he's I've not coming in until twelve. Early. Yes. This, yeah. I mean, I That's a new strat. That is a new strat. I think you only unlock that after having used a, a late one. But uh, I respect it. I respect it. Unless he's actually sick, in that case he shouldn't use a half day. He should just not come in. Is he nutting on stream against TOS? Not on, not on this stream, buddy. All right, guys. Well, two builds for PCBros.tech. Buy one today. We got some good inventory up right now, so pick one up. Thank you guys for watching. I was going to say, is okay. it not working? Hey! Uh, the there we go. All right, guys. Picks. We're going to raid somebody. They didn't glued. They didn't gluted. Gluten. So I started a video essay yesterday. Uh -huh. It was the incredibly short video of the war crimes committed by the Pokedex. Mm -hmm. And it was just going through and saying every Pokemon that's a war crime. <laughs> and then I learned about new war crimes. You want to know one that I didn't know about? What? Uh, essentially, it's like using, changing the weather pattern in the region in order to better secure the region. Mm -hmm. So like increasing rainfall by planting certain things so that your base is more defended. You cannot permanently change the climate of an area for warfare. Okay. Also, one thing that is illegal is not indiscriminate forest fires, but forest fires to cover military operation are allowed, but not just random forest fires. If your army accidentally causes a forest fire, war crime. But mm. if you did it on purpose to hide the fact you're about to storm some place, that's legal, which is horrible. Uh, no, I've not been playing Rise of Ronin. I'm about to be playing Dragon's Dogma. Excited. Are you really? What? My, our buddy Marquis is absolutely obsessed with that game. Is he the one that wrote, that wrote a book as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, I I, honestly, I can see it. I think he has said, told me something stupid. Like he's gone, he's beaten that game like fifty times. It is a, uh, it's quirky. Like people who played Fable back in the day and have like high love for that type of game. Mm -hmm. I think it's that same way. Uh, people, that like, <laughs> people that like, people that like. Uh, Dragon's Dogma, like Dragon's Dogma. Because when I watched yeah. the review of it, the guy's like, yep, it's still weird. And it's like, okay, cool. But that's part of what makes it charming. All right, guys. All right, goodbye. Well, we'll see you all Fairly well, tomorrow brothers. for Friday stream. Peace out.